Hi, and welcome to TWDB Talks, Engineers in Water. This is a new series produced by the Texas Water Development Board. It's an opportunity for us to share with you our great and talented engineers that work at the Texas Water Development Board. It's an opportunity for them to share their experience at the Texas Water Development Board along with their experience in the world of water. I'm L'Oreal Stepney, the appointed engineer board member for the Texas Water Development Board. I'm so excited. With me today I have Malcolm Hamilton. Hello. Malcolm is a registered professional engineer mm -hmm. and he's also the manager for the Flood Protection Planning Grants Program in the Office of Planning here at TWDB. Welcome, Malcolm. You ready to get started? Yes, ma'am. Well, Thanks let's go. <laughs> Malcolm, tell me a bit about your education and career and how you ended up landing at the Texas Water Development Board. Of course. I got my bachelor's in mechanical engineering at the University of Texas at Austin, right down the road. Go Horns. Hook'em Horns. <laughs> and from there, I became a dam safety engineer for Texas. And after a couple of years, I was like, I've been in Texas my entire life. So I decided to make a big life move and moved mm -hmm. up to Spokane, Washington, where I did floodplain engineering there. Mm -hmm. Uh, during that time, I got my professional engineering license, but that was also during the pandemic. And during that time, I thought it's really rough being away from home, so I decided to look for jobs back in Austin. And that's how I came up upon the Flood Protection Planning Grants Engineer position at okay. the TWDB. So I applied for that, was the first member of the team, and now I'm here being the manager. That's excellent. That's excellent. Can you share about your team and the impact that your team has for the agency in the state of Texas? Of course. Uh, my team works on the Flood Infrastructure Fund Category 1 projects, and those mainly focus on doing flood studies throughout mm -hmm. the state of Texas. Most of the flood maps that we have access to right now were kind of made in the 80s, so they're a little bit out of date. And since Texas has grown and developed a lot more since then, it updates the land use throughout the state, and that greatly affects how flooding occurs in certain areas. So these studies are being used to help update us and make sure we have the most up-to-date information to make sure people aren't in unintentionally or unawarely building into floodplains and protecting lives further down the line. Flood planning is a newer responsibility within our agency. What's it like working in and implementing a new department and program? For me personally, I feel like it's been very nice because we're not kind of stuck to this is the way we've always mm -hmm. done it. Mm -hmm. So being able to have management that's like very willing to hear you out, try out new ideas and stuff like that, allow you to fail. And if it doesn't work out, you can always change it because it's a new program. I just love the opportunity to be an innovative, especially from an engineering background. Mm -hmm. It's the opportunity to problem solve and to create something from the ground up. Exactly. I've done that uh, over my career and I think that's great that you have the opportunity to do that. Mm -hmm. Now you're a manager. I am. And congratulations on your recent promotion. Thank you. So I also remember that you were a part of our Aspiring Leaders Program. Mm -hmm. So tell me, how did the TWDB's Aspiring Leaders Program help prepare you to take that next step, that next leap into the manager role? Yeah, so the Aspiring Leaders Program is kind of an internal program that the agency offers to help grow leaders internally. And luckily my management had a lot of faith in me and decided to nominate me for the program so I was able to participate. And what was nice about it is that you kind of get like dedicated time to actually mm -hmm. sit down or reflect on your career and think about what kind of leader do I want to be, what kind of different leadership styles work for me, and how I want to be, I guess, perceived by my team and everything. Mm -hmm. But I think the most important aspect of that program is that you get a management mentor to work with. And through that, you can kind of see like, this is what a manager that does, this is kind of what their role entails. So when the position opened up for manager in my department, in my program, I was a little more comfortable applying for that because I knew, hey, I've been doing this program. I feel like I've gained enough skills and I have like, have had the opportunities to lead different other groups within the agency and outside the agency with the little projects that we had with the ALP program. So I felt a lot more confident thinking, I will, I am ready to be a manager. Well, I fully support the Aspiring Leaders Program because I think it's important as a state agency that we invest time and our people invest time in their development and you're a product of that so congratulations thank you what advice would you give to someone considering a career in engineering and taking that a step further actually in water mm -hmm. i would say for anyone thinking about doing a career in engineering um, one thing you should do is always keep an open mind and kind of not silo yourself into one thing that you really want to do. Mm -hmm. Because when I was in college, I was like, I'm going to be a mechanical engineer. I love robots. I love Legos. I'm going to be a robotics engineer. And now I'm a flood protection planning grants manager. So just being able to keep an open mind and use your engineering mindset, mm -hmm. just the way how you learn how to solve problems. 
it's very easy to transition from whatever career you think you want into just being able to explore a bunch of different careers. And in terms of water specifically, there's so many different solutions and I guess problems that need to be solved. Like within our own agency, we have surface water, flood, we've got groundwater, we've got conservation, drought, just a bunch of different um, areas to explore. So even with engineering and water, there's so many things you can do, just keep an open mind and you will find something that you love eventually. That's great because I can speak from my personal story, having an aerospace engineering degree and working in water for all these years, mm -hmm. you just never know what path is before you. And so mm -hmm. you're right, engineers are taught to think and, and taught to problem solve and those skills are applicable in many different areas. And of course we love engineers in water. Mm -hmm. And of course we love engineers in water at the Texas Water Development Board. For all of those out there who are engineers who are interested in work that's meaningful, that's purpose-driven, consider the Texas Water Development Board like Malcolm did. You'll work on innovative, creative projects and the state of Texas will be grateful to you. Thank you so much.